Welcome to the 222nd edition of the Journal's That Was the Week That Was show, or what's happened in the Highlands area this week. Let's get started. Beginning at midnight last Monday, the third annual Give Local Allegheny Highlands campaign to benefit regional nonprofit groups kicked off online at givelocalah.org. Unofficial totals indicated that $491,000 had been received via donations as of last Tuesday. Allegheny High School Workforce Signing Day on May 17th included a higher volume of local students than ever before, noted coordinator Seth Bradley, as they took a moment to talk about their future jobs. There's both video and photos now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. The Allegheny Highlands Arts Council's Give em Hell Harry production was a crowd-pleasing event held at Kerfman Hall on Sunday with actor Fred Grandy doing a 90-minute non-stop Harry Truman impersonation. Grandy was then joined by former Love Boat actor Ted Lange to answer questions from the crowd and later pose for many photos. There's more right now on this story on AlleghenyJournal.com. Another Wendy's party at the Masonic Theater's Dean Underground on May 17th included the Full Tilt Boogie Band and a host of local revelers. There's photos now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Eight graduates of the Jackson River Governor School were awarded Associates of Arts and Sciences degrees in science from Mountain Gateway Community College at its 57th commencement event held on May 10th. Much more about the students and the Jackson River Governor School is available now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Later today at the Jackson River Sports Complex, two bands, activities for the kids, and a neat veterans car show will highlight the entertainment for the kickout of the Covington Parks and Recreation Summer Music Series. The Veterans Car Show, hosted by Cars Unlimited and bands American Honey and Last Chance, will keep the expected crowd entertained for sure. There's more on the subject right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. The 14th annual Allegheny Highlands Triathlon event was held last Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. The 5K run, 5-mile paddle, and 10K bike event started in the Sharon area and ended in downtown Clifton Forge. Photos of the participants and winners are now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. It was announced last Tuesday that Allegheny High School best friends Riley Spangler and Victoria Kritzer are the valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 2024. Spangler plans to go to WNL next year and Kritzer will go to Christopher Newport University. There's much more on this special pair now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Freddie Barnett, American Legion Post No. 4 adjutant, recently presented a check to Larry Wright of the Wall That Heals Committee to help support the special event coming here in early October. There's more on the subject now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor.
The Allegheny County Covington Sheriff's Office announced the recent arrest of Albert C. Foran of Glen Burnie, Maryland, who recently sought to meet and take with him an underage female to become, quote, his daughter wife. Mr. Foran now finds himself charged with felonies and is being lodged in the Allegheny Regional Jail without bond. Read a very interesting story about Allegheny High School senior and honors graduate Haley Givens, who recently graduated from Mountain Gateway Community College and was named its Poet Laureate. She's planning on becoming a forensic psychologist. There's more on the subject right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. More progress on projects noted in Covington. The home team field house construction proceeds apace, and downtown's pocket park now has a running fountain. Landscaping and pavers will follow soon, the journal has learned. There were only two members of the public present on Tuesday for the Covenant City Council work session. Many important topics were discussed. From paving to equipment purchases and concerns about future revenues, the Covenant City Council dealt with all successfully. Next fiscal year's budget will be published next Tuesday. Overall, the city's budget is a bit smaller than that of the current fiscal year. On May 15th, at an Allegheny High School Athletic Awards Ceremony, Purcell Turner was recognized as the Male Athlete of the Year. Trinity Scott was named Female Athlete of the Year, but wasn't present when the awards were given. Separately, Director's Fellowship Scholarships were awarded to Caleb Walden and Christina Terrell. Both Turner and Walden will play football for Roanoke College under coach Brian Steinspring this next year. The Allegheny Highlands YMCA has received a Youth Tobacco Prevention Grant from the Virginia Foundation for Healthy Youth. The Y will work closely with Allegheny Highlands Public Schools and Allegheny Highlands Community Services to implement the three-year award. Bassett High School head football coach Brandon Johnson shared some important life lessons with Callahan Elementary School students in grades three through five as they prepared for upcoming SOL tests. Johnson, now in his seventh year at Bassett, spoke about inclusion, kindness, and building strengths as part of his pep talk. There's much more on this story right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Allegheny Highlands Public Schools is currently conducting an important survey with respect to student attendance, and your participation is invited. Student absenteeism increased during the pandemic and remains higher than normal. There's more on this story, plus a link to the survey, now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Two Allegheny Highlands Community Services staffers recently joined the Allegheny Journal remotely to talk about a neat event planned for next Friday, May 31st. It's being billed as a mental health awareness block party from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 311 South Monroe Avenue in Covington. There's video now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And thanks very much for joining us today for our 222nd show in this series. With more than 19,551 Facebook followers now, your readership is very much appreciated. See you right here again next week. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service.